This is Christopher Bruza. Welcome back. Um, just want to make a quick update on my channel. As you probably saw, I haven't been doing stuff in the past few months, and uh, honestly, I get a little burnt out on it. So, um, took a break during hunting season, recharged, and now I'm back at it uh, full speed ahead. Uh, you're going to be seeing some videos coming up. You'll, you'll see a new one in a couple days. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick update um, to let you know to keep an eye out for like community posts. I'm going to be posting uh, polls in there as to what sort of content or to direct uh, what sort of content I create. Um, and the other uh, important thing I wanted to mention, uh, you can see I have a short barreled rifle and a short barreled shotgun in front of me. And uh, just last Friday, the ATF released um, the changes in guidelines or, or however they're wording it on um, pistol braced short round shotguns and rifles. Um, there are a lot of good videos out there uh, saying what's happening currently and you know what the legislation is and what's going to happen in, in the next 60 to 120 days. Uh, but Nobody that I've seen has mentioned why we are where we are, why I had to pay a $200 tax stamp to have a 10 and a half inch barrel on this, why I had to pay a $200 tax stamp to have a 14 inch barrel on that. And Ian McCollum of Forgotten Weapons did a amazing video on the history of short barreled rifles and short barreled shotguns. Uh, so I would suggest, I, I would assume most of you have probably seen it or at least watch him. I would suggest you go take a look. I'm going to uh, link to it um, just because understanding why they made these regulations back in the 1960s uh, is very important uh, in your arguments uh, regarding how to handle this situation and why it's completely absurd. So uh, go take a look at that, please. Um, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days with the new Mossberg 590 Vang Comp 764, what they're calling the standard. So thank you and enjoy.